Hey, this is Chris. Welcome back to Chris's Dip Review. And I apologize that I haven't made a video in a while. I've been busy and things have gotten really crazy. Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Today is Cyber Monday, so definitely check out uh, the internet for all the sales. And so today I will be reviewing Jake's Mint Chew Brandy Flavor. Taking a look at the pack design, it has a little mint leaf on here. It says Jake's Mint Chew. And brandy in little small letters, www.jakesmintchew.com. I'll link them down below. Tobacco free, nicotine free. It is USDA organic. Focus. Um, yeah, it just says Jake's Mint Chew Brandy. Uh, chew healthy, chew mint. Uh, ingredients organic glycerin, organic mint, water, and organic flavors. So, yeah. This pack, I've been dipping on this a little bit. And I do like it. So far, all the Jake Smith chooses I've tried has been really well. They're really good, excuse me. Sorry, I'm trying to do the one handed opener. I gotta be careful because I tried that before with this can and it, uh, I spilled it and that was what happened with the cola, so. Taking a look at the, sorry, I had a little pop up. Actual chew or dip or mint. It's a nice black color. It's got a little bit of longer cut brown leaves or stem. It smells like bananas, honestly. And I'm just trying to push this around and look at it. So yeah, it's kind of a little clumped up in little balls like a lot of the mint chew is. So I'm gonna pack it one more time real fast. Good enough. Alright, so let's pack a whip and see what, uh, see how it tastes. I'm not going to be packing fatties because I still got to talk. And when I put a dip in, I dip it on my tongue and then push it down. I haven't put a dip in a while, I apologize. So first initial flavor, just spinning this thing. I'm asking you as my viewers, please, can anybody send me a mud jug? It'd be much appreciated. Shout you out, do whatever you want. Please, if you could hook me up with one, it'd be much appreciated. Um, got a little bit of a bitter flavor. Got a little bit of banana flavor. Sorry, I'm trying to get that flavor. It's a little bit hard to describe. It tastes like brandy, but not a lot. And again, I haven't really had straight brandy. Which I'm not positive what it tastes like. That's shit all over my shirt. Sorry, guys. Um, I kind of a banana, Swedish, bitterish. It tastes packed real nice. It does kind of taste a little bitter. It is kind of what I expect when the name brandy, because it does taste what I presume brandy would taste like. So yeah, um, pack design on it. Seven out of ten, just average. Still looks good though, ain't bad. And flavor. It does have that little bit of bitterness. But I don't know if I'm fully qualified because so I'm not a brandy connoisseur per se. Never had it, so I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Because that little bit of bitterness. And a little bit of awkward flavor. And uh, how well it stays packed, it stays packed and they're real nice. Hold on. I'll show you guys. Sorry if you don't want to see this, but it may help you guys to see uh, how well it stays packed. So you can see in there it stays real nice. It's not floating all around in my mouth. But yeah. So overall, it's pretty good. Would I recommend this uh, to whoever? 
or and would I buy this again? Would I recommend this? If you like brandy and cigars or whatever, it's yeah, it's not bad for sure. I'm not sure how much this is priced. I only think it's three dollars, so I'd probably recommend this. It ain't bad. It beats mint snuff. It's about the same as Smoky Mountain, um, as far as it being good goes, but I do like the texture of Smoky Mountain better. And would I buy this again? Uh, maybe. I don't really buy a chew like that very often. It's a rarity, but if I if it was carried in my tobacco store and it was reasonably priced, I would. Alright. Ah. Sorry, I got a big old flick there. That's it for this review, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and have a great day, y'all.